Hey everyone, welcome to the Active Tales channel. My name is John Zimmerman. I am in London, England this week, and uh, today is Tuesday, June 11th. I'm heading back into the city center of uh, London, and on my way this time, I'm gonna try to find uh, some park routes, uh, a little bit more greenery. So let's swing the camera around and enjoy. And you can see here we're uh, headed into this little uh, parkland area, part of the forest. Looking for a greener route, at least for a portion of it. In reality, we're just uh, kind of hooking up with a busier road here but we do have a bike lane, which is gonna be nice. And we see that we've got a two-way cycle track here. And we see part of the green space that we were riding through was a little cemetery area. St. Peter in the forest. Very nice. I don't know how easy it is to see, but this cycle track surface is definitely the red asphalt, a la what we typically see in the Netherlands. That's nice little homage to uh, the Dutch cycle tracks. Nice integration here with the transit stop. Some of the uh, quieter side streets, residential streets that we've been exploring in the past couple days. Ah, like these little plantings here. Some flowers. Now we're gonna switch over to the other side. And this is a main drag that we've been on a couple of times, riding as well as walking. Again, this is that uh, quasi-protected intersection here. Very busy intersection, as you can tell. Lots of car traffic. We do have our nice bike signal here. One feature that would be nice uh, for this little uh, bike signal is to give us sort of a countdown as to when we're getting close to going. Doesn't quite have that feature to it, although we will get a, a yellow before we get to the uh, green, the amber. Looking back the way that we were, oh, here it is. We got our green, okay. 
And we're rolling. There's quite a few shops, cafes, restaurants along this stretch. Again, you see the uh, speed limit of 20 miles per hour. But, you know, seriously, the, uh, the configuration is definitely much higher speed design, design speed. So I definitely get the sense that motor vehicles are uh, traveling through here a lot faster than they should. Honestly, I don't know why they have us sitting here waiting. Definitely seems a bit strange. I'm just gonna roll because there's no more cars and I'm sitting there waiting stupidly. Again, there's nothing worse than signalized intersections when they're not intelligent to prioritize walking and biking. Otherwise, don't even bother. Or employ the uh, Colorado Safety Stop Law or Idaho Law, which basically means that you treat a stop sign like a yield and a stop light like a stop sign once you scan and see that it's safe to proceed, you go ahead and do so. Again, a nice articulation and integration with the transit stop here. The bike lane goes around the tree, goes around the transit stop. All works quite well. We're back on the uh, raised separated cycle infrastructure here on Lee Bridge Road. Nicely done. It is obviously a bit undersized, but it works as the network continues to build out and more people feel comfortable riding on these facilities. You might start to push the comfort level of the narrowness, but for the time being, it's very comfortable and reasonable. And again, some of the quieter side streets. Here's one where we no go except for cycles. Many of these streets are designed like that where for people on bikes, uh, it's a contraflow lane. And it looks like the library, probably a field trip with the kids, the students. Ah, finally, caught up with a few people on bikes, at least two. One peels off, heading in that direction. The other is an Uber Eats. I am seeing an awful lot of uh, food delivery by bike and by e-bike. Fortunately, not a whole lot of them that I've seen thus far on loud motor scooters.
Okay, coming up here relatively soon, we're gonna get into a little bit of greenery. Nice little integration there for the network of off street paths. Again, nice separation, protection here. A solid structure transitions down to just a simple curb separation on both sides. It bears repeating that this is a more pleasant environment for pedestrians too because now they have some separation from the motor vehicle traffic as well. So there you go. I believe we passed a potential alternate route to the one we're taking. The one we're taking is gonna be in just uh, two tenths of a mile. We're gonna get over another stream here. Yeah, we're going to be turning left just after we get past this little canal waterway here. And this is uh, getting us into a series of parkland green pathways. Very nice. And uh, a little construction on the path. Now we're rolling once again. And we're making our way up to pathway called Capital Ring, which is right here. We can see some of our signage. And now we are right along the waterway. There we go. We're gonna be on this waterway for the next mile, at least. It looks like these are houseboats that are occupied. A nice narrow little path here. I wonder if it gets crowded. And again, some of the, the houses, houseboats, transportation, mini bikes on the boats. Very cool. You can see some bike ped crossings over here. And again, the point of this particular journey is just to find an alternate route away from motor vehicles. 
believe it or not, this is going to deliver us to the London Stadium, which I believe is part of the Olympic facilities. I'm assuming this was the, the right thing to do. Seems reasonable. Nice narrow path for the runners and the walkers and a parallel route of fresh asphalt. Relatively fresh anyways, especially compared to the old concrete over there. Another one of the little bridges. And it's hard to see, but uh, to my left is just a dense marsh forested area. If we get any openings, I'll be sure to swing the camera over there and show you what I'm talking about. There's another person on a bike. Going out for a relaxing morning ride. This looks like my, it might be a pathway leading into the forested area. Just a little glimpse. Again, you can hear the birds. It's nice to have a little respite from the urban area, the car noise. You can see some of the housing right here along the canal. Very nice. Part of the National Cycle Network. Again, the NCN, the National Cycle Network, the stewards of the NCN, Sustrans. And harvesting something in there, maybe just those white flowers. Not sure what those are. Seems to be plentiful, whatever it is. This looks problematic. It kind of looks like a party area. Here we go. Now we're back on a cycle track, even though we're on a street. Definitely looks as if we're getting into the heart of some development. Again, I suspect that this has something to do with the Olympic Park area. We got some new construction going on over here. This is interesting. Why put the block in the middle of the bike lane? Quite annoying. Okay, some new housing development on both sides. Again, 
the large concrete Lego blocks in the bike lane. Quite a few high rise buildings over there. Again, there's nobody around. And yes, you can see the huge London Stadium up ahead. See some of the other high rises in the distance. That looks like quite the torture contraption there, all spirally. All right. Let's swing over here. Looks like we've got some adult exercise equipment here. Not too uncommon to see these out here in parks. Very nice. Looks like more housing being built over there. Little cafe area here in the park. Integration of some all ages play. I say all ages because I think some of those were uh, again adult exercise. But this is a good example of sort of adventure play design versus your typical overly controlled playgrounds. Kids are able to adventure a little more, climb, jump. Very cool. Nice area here. Clearly a lot of new housing being developed got three different layers of pathways here. The layer I'm on and then a walkway and then it looks like a canal side trail pathway as well. Nice place to practice your roller skating. Yeah, so this definitely looks like it is a uh, part of the new live, work, play concept here, development. And BBC building. Another canal and canal side path. East Bank. Yes, Queen Elizabeth Olympic Park. Very cool. Very cool. Hey folks, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this ride along video. And if you did, please, hey, give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below and share it with a friend. And if you haven't done so already, I'd be honored to have you subscribe to the channel. Just click on that subscription button down below and ring the notifications bell. And up next, yes, we are gonna be riding across the city center of London towards the King's Cross Station. So until next time, this is John signing off by wishing you much activity, health, and happiness. Cheers. And again, sending a huge thank you out to all my Active Towns ambassadors supporting the channel on Patreon, Buy Me A Coffee, YouTube Super Thanks, as well as making contributions to the nonprofit and purchasing things from the Active Towns store. Every little bit adds up and it's much appreciated. Thank you all so much.